AI is taking over everything, even our home gyms, and there is nothing you or John Connor can do about it. Note channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and with artificial intelligence and smart technology taking over everything in our lives, even home gym equipment, I thought it was an ideal time to pull back the curtain to see if these pieces of equipment will actually get you that beach body you are dreaming about, or if they're gonna end up on Facebook Marketplace as another piece of scrap metal. Today, we are pitting the new contender to the market, the Speedians all-in-one monster gym against the big dog, Tonal. If you're not familiar with how Tonal or Speedience or any of the other multitude of smart AI-driven pieces of home gym equipment operate, they utilize motors and technology in order to mimic the typical resistance you would get with free weight training. Probably the biggest upsell when it comes to why you'd want to pick up a Speedience or a Tonal is that it removes the actual learning curve. You get this thing and you don't have to have worked out day one. It will walk you through everything. I literally mean everything. The exercise, the form, the reps, it will count for you. It'll even tell you the appropriate rep speed and it will calculate your rest period. <gasps> These things can even do what free weights really can't, and that is they can actually change the resistance on the fly. I'm not kidding. So as you can imagine with something like a bicep curl, when you curl that weight, you can only lift a certain amount of weight, but when you lower that weight, your body is absolutely able to basically handle more weight on the resistance. And that's what this can do on certain exercises. It will increase or decrease the weight on the concentric or eccentric motion of that rep, and it will allow you to really tax the muscle and get you the biggest bang for your time buck. Another big reason that people are drawn to the latest and greatest gadgets is that they use a high level of exercise science and gamification to not only maximize your workouts, but more importantly, keep you coming back and keep you staying consistent. But there are two major catches, which we'll discuss at the end of today's video. Even though the technology is relatively brand new, I wanna give you a little bit of a history lesson, and that is the tonal is the big dog. Reason being, it was the first to market. It was the first to come out, first to be advertised. It has probably the biggest marketing budget because it has so many famous sponsored athletes telling you how great this thing is. It does run $3,500, depending on the level uh, you get in terms of the extra accessories. But that is a big chunk of change. But to add insult to injury, the tonal makes you pay a $60 monthly membership if you actually want to use any of the features that come with it. Enter in the Speedience, all-in-one monster home gym. And let's talk about the big elephant in the room, and that is cost. Usually the biggest factor people will use when picking one piece of home gym equipment over another. And this base model comes in $500 under the tonal. So base model for base model, you're saving $500 off the bat. And now $3,000 $3, is still a good chunk of change, but they don't try to nickel and dime you like tonal. You sign up for their app one time with a zero charge and you get it forever. And you get full access to creating your own workouts, you get full access to their workout programs, and then all your data that is stored on the app. I need to thank you for using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. Using those links helps keep this ice bath cold enough to give me a uniball in the summertime. Let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a free thank you gift. Unlike the tonal, the Speedience setup process is a breeze. It's literally one step. Unbox it. You unbox it, you turn it right side up, you plug it in, and you're off to the races. You're able to quickly connect your Wi-Fi, put your information into the app, and you are training. Now, the tonal has a few more steps. You've got to hire 
Tim, the tool man, Taylor, to actually drill into your wall, find the studs, make sure that it is fully mounted to your wall before you can even use it for set number one. Now, Tonal's big claim to fame is that it takes up literally zero space because it will sit on your wall. However, the Speedience, while not taking up zero space, is pretty close behind. You can absolutely store this right against your wall and fold it up as so, giving you a ton of room when it's not in use. And frankly, when it is in use, it doesn't take up much room either. Now let's quickly talk about construction. The Speedience, yeah, she's thick, deuce, deuce and a half. It's a very heavy piece of equipment, very much uh, loaded to the ground. And that speaks towards the build quality of the Speedience, but it is something you need to factor in because it's gonna require a two person lift to really get it inside your house. Once you have it on a flat surface, whether it's rug or a horse stall mat or concrete, you literally tilt it back and you can roll it around easy breezy. Now the antenna on this bad boy is big. It's huge. And the nice aspect about that is, as you can see, you can't even see it. It's tucked behind the screen here. But that means you're going to be able to easily connect to your Wi-Fi. As an example, I'm in my garage and my Wi-Fi router is all the way on the other side of the house. Still get five bars. Another bright feature for the Speedience literally is the screen. Very bright, very easy to use, very uh, responsive to the touch, and you can angle it to give you the best viewing pleasure you have during your exercise. Now the base model does come with a number of accessories, and I will tell you that the majority of them are fantastic. The bar that they have allowing you to connect both of these handles and do some functional exercise and really gang up on the weight is Really nice. The knurling feels good, and it's just an overall solid design. Also, the tricep rope push down, solid as well, and the ankle straps that they provide are nice. They're not cheap. The only cheap part about the accessories are the handles. Unfortunately, they really went with like a plastic slippery handle, and I know that they're trying to save every dime they can and really kind of thread the needle when it comes to value, but I really wish they put like just a little bit of knurling or just kind of upgraded it slightly to give you a better grip. It even comes with a way to adjust the weights using this Bluetooth finger device. You literally can just turn this knob on the top and between sets, you can simply raise or lower the resistance you're going to be experiencing. It works exceptionally well and I didn't necessarily find it bothersome. I know a lot of people love this thing because it means it's quicker. Ultimately, I ended up just noticing I was not using it and frankly just changing the weights between sets on the screen itself. The app itself is great in terms of user experience and it's thorough. You can really get into the weeds in terms of the workout style, the intensity, the duration, and what your ultimate goals are for your body, for your physical fitness. The max resistance is a total of 220 pounds, so that's 110 pounds per handle. Max deadlift, 110 pounds each side. Oh, that is not light, my man, that is not light. Now I know for a lot of you, Gym bros, for a lot of you mass monsters, 220 pounds is just a drop in the bucket. But I hate to be the one to break it to you. The majority of us normal gym bros, the majority of us dads, moms out there, the majority of people working out in their home gym, 220 pounds is going to be a good amount of weight. And very few people are going to need more than that 220 pounds, especially utilizing this for functional exercise. Now, the majority, if not all, of the reviews of the Speedience, Gym Monster, or the Tonal that are online are 100% paid for in that many of those people got the product for free. They didn't actually go out and buy it themselves. I am one of those people. They sent this to me for free for an honest review, and then they sent me a whole list of talking points that they wanted me to address during the video. Now, if you have watched this channel for any length of time, you know when a company tells me that I need to say a certain thing or address a certain topic, I just tell them to hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out.
I never take advice from companies. I always make my own videos and I try to, with uh, as much unbiasedness as possible, give the pros, give the cons, and give my personal opinion so that you can decide if it is worth your hard earned money. And there are a few exercises on here that just don't feel right. Case in point, a lat pull down. If you go to the local gym, you go on the lat pull down, the weight is like directly above your head. You get a beautiful range of motion, a beautiful pull on your body. It engages the lats. Something like this, the weight is going to be in front of you. You're gonna be sitting on the floor or sitting on the bench and it's going to be on in front of you. You'll still activate your lats, you'll still work your back muscles, but it's not gonna feel the same. The other exercises that were a bit of a nuisance were the bench and the overhead press. Getting into and out of position was just a bit of a nuisance. And if you're like me, and I think you are, Anything that shows up as a nuisance, you're ultimately just not gonna be doing it after a short amount of time. Because I wanna give you the full Monty, I wanna give you all the issues that you might notice or encounter if you drop your hard earned cash on this bad boy, is that, as I already mentioned, the handles themselves are cheap. I will tell you that they should have made nicer handles because the other attachments they provide are legit really good. And the other thing that they went short on, literally, is the cord. This is the length of the cord that comes with the Speedians. And for most people, you probably should have had a longer cord. Because for me, I've got to use an extension cord. And if you're in your home, you really don't want to have to be using an extension cord to set something like this up. And you don't want to have to be locked in to a, a five foot section uh, as far as your outlet is concerned. Whether you love or absolutely hate the idea of AI-driven technology, it's hard to deny that both the tonal and the speedients act and operate as close to as advertised as you could probably hope to expect. Now, if I had to pick one, the speedients or the tonal, you know I'm picking the speedients, and it's not because they sent it to me for free. The biggest factor is that $500 initial savings, and then I absolutely despise subscriptions. So the idea of paying Tonal $60 a month for something that Speedience is giving away for free is a hard pill to swallow. And the other aspect that a lot of people probably don't consider or realize is the movability. Now this thing is heavy, and yes, it's going to take two people to get it up or down a flight of stairs. However, once it's in a location, you can wheel it around. If you don't like the spot you have it set up in, you can move it to the other side of your home. Or if you just happen to be moving, as people do, you can pack this thing up and you are off to the races. Whereas a tonal, you need to have it mounted onto a wall. And then if you want to take it down, you've got to pull it out, put it someplace else, and then patch up all the holes that you put in that wall. Forget choosing between the tonal and the speedience. The real question that you need to be asking yourself and you need to be honest, are you still going to be using this in six months or is it simply gonna be holding your laundry that needs to be dry? I will tell you that this is absolutely positively not marketed towards gym bros, towards athletes, towards people that get up at 5 a.m. and just go for a run. Those people, they don't need any motivation to stay fit and to stay in shape. This thing is marketed towards the people that are resistant to actually training. The people that are hesitant to go to a local gym or start a new workout program, the people that lack motivation, the people that have zero consistency, and the Speedients will give you everything you need to get into fantastic shape, to get great workouts in, all in a very succinct, almost minimal amount of space. It will take you through everything, whether you are a beginner or you are advanced, whether you are a man or a woman, it's going to get the job done. And that gamification keeps you coming back for more. While the technology is exciting, it's brand new, it's got Bluetooth, it connects to the Wi-Fi, but most importantly, yes, it does absolutely work. Even with all that said, we know, we've seen it in the past, year over year, there's the new hyped piece of home gym equipment that people will go out, buy, spend Boku bucks on, only to have it end up collecting dust within a few months. If you find yourself having difficulty staying consistent with a workout program, the newest, latest gadget isn't gonna do the trick. It's you, pal. I hate to tell you, it's you. 
And if you don't plan to stay consistent, and I mean not just for a week, not for a month, I'm talking six months, a year, something like this you should be using for three plus years in order to get your money back on it. If you're not gonna be doing that, then don't even consider picking one up. Now, YouTube AI has been spying on you. They know that these videos are the ones that you're gonna wanna watch next. Hey, don't blame me. It's just Big Brother. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.